Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we uh, installed the shifter. We're gonna put the windshield in, we're gonna put the side windows in, and I'm gonna show you around the chassis a little bit where it mounts to the body. So let's get to it. So we got the shifter in. The, uh, the linkage goes through this side here. It's pole mounted, there's a little screw there. I ran the CO2 line, it's gonna connect to a MAC sensor there. I haven't, a MAC valve, I haven't got it yet. Uh, I'm getting another CO2 bottle that's gonna control the shocks. This CO2 bottle will control the boost and the shifter, because that needs 125 PSI. The shocks, they need like 250 PSI. So I didn't want to get two separate regulators, so I wanted two separate bottles just for the shocks and one for the shifter and boost. So the, sh uh, the bottle's on the way. Uh, I ordered it from Motion Raceworks, exactly like the one I have. So I'm thinking I'll just put it right here. It'll be here next week. The battery will be here next week, so then we can start the wiring process. But yeah, the shifter's in. This is controlled by a mag valve. Um, I think it sits in the right spot. I sat there and it sits pretty good. This thing is really nice. But I'll show you a little video here of uh, I mounted a sensor. All right, so shifters in, gear sensor. Put some, uh, made a bracket. Perfect. Now we know what gear the car is in. So I'll show you a little bit here where the mounting points are before we put before we put in the windshield in. I just kind of cleaned up a little bit here. So there are places where I drilled the spot welds and there's places where they welded these brackets here. So there's a support here. There's a support here. So it's like a little pole and then there's a flat plate and then they, they spot weld it. There's uh, one here and one here. This goes to the striker here. This just supports the body. There's another one down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's one there. And then finally, there's two up top there that support the back. So that's pretty much what supports the body on the chassis. Um, this bar here that's welded on the firewall here. This is connected directly. To the, to the cage so this this kind of strengthens the front area we made this so it doesn't you know support the front there's another one over there i just painted a little flat black so it doesn't uh it doesn't rust here so i got cleaned over here and i painted a little flat black so it doesn't you know we're putting the side windows in yeah so the side windows are done they're over here The made out of Lexan I showed you in the other video. The carbon doors will be here next week. So we're excited for that. But uh, for now, let's put the windshield in, let's put the glasses in, and I'll show you around the car a little more. Okay, okay guys, so we got the windshield all cleaned up. We put the seal back on it. You got a professional here, windshield guy, Mr. Otis. You breaking my car or what? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, so Otis here is Maltese, like, same like me. He used to do windshields apparently for 20 years, so maybe about 10 years. So we're cleaning the surface. There's a bunch of junk here from before. This windshield was taken out about three times. So we're waiting on Otis's friend. He's going to come with some urethane because we're going to use urethane to put it back. We'll start with the front and uh, we'll be right back. Don't mess it up. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. This is the urethane stuff. It's like rubber. So the windshield is in. We did the same process, cleaned it all up. Induction performance sticker. Big thanks to the guys and Victor that support me. All right, so a little window going in. We put a little sealant here. 
Time for this to go in. We prep the surface. So that goes in first, right? Yeah. Awesome. Good. Good enough for the girls I date. Eh? Good enough for the girls I date. Yeah, looks good. One down. One down, one to go. Window number two. Yeah, that goes in like a slot. No, no. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's like it sticks, eh? Yeah. Oh, yes. Sweet. My legs and little windows, they work good, right? Yeah. Perfect. Hey guys, it's done. Put a nice bead of silicone. Use the same molding. This is an aftermarket molding, but I liked it flush. I didn't want the OEM because it has that little gap in it. I want everything flush. This is done. Looks good. Not well, bad for Lexan, right? Yeah, so I get the Lexan next next week. We'll put this in. I'm gonna cut it flush so it's got this angle here. There won't be any seam here or molding. And then we're gonna urethane this one too. I don't wanna put screws. I think I want a urethane. So this one's done too. We got some tape in the back just to keep the silicone back there. Yeah, a little view of the shifter. This thing is gorgeous. Detach back in. I mounted this panel. So this panel is all nice and tight. This is going to be the ignition because obviously there is no key anymore. So this is the ignition. This is the uh, this is for here for the steering. And uh, this is the Ethernet for the Moltec. So yeah, so I think we're done for now. Uh, I'm going to get uh, the battery on uh, I think Tuesday. So I think next week we'll start doing the wiring and uh, hopefully wire this up. So when the engine comes in, we can just fire it up. So. Stay tuned. Take care.